Well, welcome to another episode of Let's Fix It. Well, today we're going to take a look at the uh, a Turtle Beach Gamer headset repair. I know they don't look very broken, but because uh, it's because I've already fixed them. And how I did that, I'm going to show you in this video. Both sides of the headset was uh, broken pretty much in the same area, which was right across from here. I still have the old pieces right here. Um, and, and I ended up modeling. Um, I ended up modeling a new set, uh, basically by copying the existing ones. You can still twist and turn the way you you usually did it with the headset, so it it works exactly the way that that it was before, and it's yeah, it's usable the, like when it was new. Um, both the sides of the headset broke in the same area, and. They simply aren't strong enough to uh, withstand the uh, the use of a teenage gamer, and I, I ended up modeling a new set that basically by copying the existing ones, uh, step by step and feature by feature until I ended up with a uh, design that that looks like this. I had a couple of close designs uh, that I printed just to see how close I was to a final uh, usable design. Uh, besides the uh, broken parts from both sides, I have uh, reused everything else from the headset. It took a few tries to really nail uh, everything the way I wanted it. Uh, after the um, design process, it's time to load it in the slicer and, and get it ready for printing. Now, it, it is very important that I place it correctly uh, to give it the maximum strength, especially in the area where it, uh, it was breaking. And since it was breaking in, in, in this area, uh, there was only one way to orient uh, it in the printer. Uh, by laying it sideways, the layers go all the way uh, around the part and it becomes very strong in all directions. Uh, the easy way uh, would have been to just stand it up, but then it would only be as strong as a bond between the two worst layers of the part. Printing it sideways means there will be a little bit more sanding on the horizontal edges, uh, and that has to be taken into account when you're designing the part. Uh, layer thickness makes a big uh, difference around these areas when you have to sand the parts. The ridges are going to be much bigger at uh, 0 0.3 millimeter layer height versus uh, 0 0.1 millimeters, meaning double the sanding plus printing thicker parts uh, because uh, more is sanded away. Uh, so if you have the time to, to print, just print it at a uh, better resolution to have less sanding afterwards. Uh, if you press for time, uh, do it the other way around, uh, but at, at the end of the day, uh, it, it's going to take you about the same amount of time. The use of support is also necessary, and it adds to the cleanup time of the part. Uh, because I was wanting to, to make sure I was ending up with a strong part, I ended up printing a pair with uh, two high temperatures, and, and it ended up being trashed as a, uh, an unusable part. And it's just too much cleaning and sanding for me to keep the parts and the supports were just too tough to get off and the surface underneath the part was, was not looking very good. Uh, after I assembled the headset I decided to not to take it apart again for, for, for painting. Uh, perhaps if it was my own headset uh, I, I might have done that but I think it's, it's, it's pretty good as is and it's being the headset of a teenager it, it's gonna have to deal with a lot of abuse and I just don't think it's worth it. So, this is what you end up with. A uh, fully functioning headset that is uh, as strong as uh, when it was new. It's, it's a fun little project that saves you $100 plus for a new headset and it makes the planet live a couple seconds more. If you think it was worth it, you know, give it a thumbs up. Uh, if you think we should just trash the stuff, buy new and print a dragon instead, please. Hey, give me a thumbs down. Uh, subscribe uh, so you don't miss the next uh, Let's Fix It video. Please, take care. Bye-bye.